What's up, everyone? This is Kyler, and welcome back to the Grace Kid Podcast. We're so glad that you're joining us. And today, I have a room full of very special guests, and so they're going to introduce themselves. I'm Cohen. I'm 11 years old, and I'm in fifth grade. Hi, I'm Adley. I'm six, and I'm in first grade. So my name is Finley. I am nine years old, and I'm in third grade. And this is the first time they're all meeting each other. Not no. that's wrong. <laughs> no, we're, we're siblings. What do, you, what do you mean? We're siblings. We're siblings. Oh, right, right, right. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, siblings. they are siblings. And so we are really excited to get into our story today. But first, we have a question of the day. So, Cohen, what is our question of the day? If you could give your siblings one chore to do, what would it be? All right. And if you don't have siblings, what chore would you give back to your parents? All right. So we'll be right back with our answer. I never want to fill my book with anything else but you. And God, I'll take this moment to give you everything. Because Jesus, nothing compares to living life. We're back, and we hope uh, we all know chores that we would want to give back. So, Cohen, what is a chore you would want to give to your sibling? I would want to give Adley and Finley the vacuuming. It's oh, not a fun chore. Vacuuming? Okay, okay. So, Adley, what about you? What chores do you want to give your I'd brothers? I give Cohen vacuuming. Oh, come on. And I would give Finley giving me a shoulder rub, a back rub, and too a much, too much, too oh, much. That's, that's not even a chore. That's just a massage chair. <laughs> All right, so Finley, what about you? What chores I'd do you want to give Cohen get? vacuuming no, and Adley a foot rub for me. Oh. Cohen has the vacuuming back. Yeah, uh-huh. Cohen. Wah, Dang. Wah. How did that happen? Next time I'm going last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Today, uh, we if you've been following along, we are in the one-story plan. And uh, if you're following along on the one-story calendar, today we're kind of talking about day 90. And so 90 is a big number. That's a lot of days. And so oh, we, yeah. we hope you're enjoying it. Um, but today, we are talking about... Drum roll, please. <gasps> Joshua! Joshua, that's right. And so... Joshua is a semi-new person that we'll be talking about, but so far we were talking about Moses, and Moses, he uh, was a leader of the Israelites, he led them out of Egypt, and uh, was trying to lead them to the promised land, but because of their disobedience, they weren't able to go, but then uh, they Moses starts to get old, and so... How old do you think he, he was? 120. Yeah. Hello. 120. 120 years old. Which is, is that young? No. 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 That's, that is old. That's almost as old as Adley. I'm just kidding. Quite younger. <laughs> Adley's only six. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, he's old. And so he ends up choosing someone to be the next person to lead the Israelites, which was Joshua. And so he... Uh, puts Joshua in charge and then Moses goes and he, he ends up dying. But God, uh, he ends up telling Joshua like this command. And so I'm going to read it. It's from Joshua 1, verse 6 through 9. It says, Be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all that you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So, what stood out to you guys in that in that? passage be strong and courageous oh how, how many times was it in there three three. Three, yes. times. three times and what does like being strong mean um believing that god is god and that 
you can stand on his word. Yeah, that's good. It also means that you you be brave and ready for the next thing. Yeah. Strong isn't just about like muscles, right? Like yeah. it's not just about being buff. It's about being strong. More than our muscles, but strong in our faith. And courageous. Courageous is like like being like, you know what, I'm gonna take charge. I'm gonna do this. And like confident. Confident, yeah, that's perfect. And so right away Joshua is like, All right, I'm strong and courageous. You know what? Let's go to the promised land. And so they start to prepare to go. Um, but Joshua sends two spies in, and the two spies stay with uh, Adley. Who does the two spies stay with? They stay at the house at um, Rahab's house. Yeah, Rahab's house. Yeah, that's right. And so he goes and stays, and then they come back, and they end up having a report. And this report was a good report. They say, the Lord has given us the whole land, they said, for all the people in the land are terrified of us. That's a good report, huh? Yeah. Very. It is time to go to the promised land. So they prepare to go across the Jordan River. And so they like prepare everything and they send the priest with the Ark of the Covenant in first. So right when, what happens? Right when they step in, it the river splits. Right. So well, they, they're, they're dry when they get across. Yeah. And could you imagine? I mean, this isn't just like there's four of us here. It's not just four of us. It was like hundreds of thousands of people walking through, walking through dry. And so they get through, they continue going, and they get to the gates of Jericho. And they were tightly shut because the people were afraid of the Israelites. And so God tells them to do something. Finley, do you remember? Yes. Yeah. Um, God told them to march around seven days. Six days, march around one time. On the seventh day walk around seven times and those six of the seven um be quiet the entire time quiet um and on the seventh day walk around seven times and on the seventh time yeah you um the priests blow their horns and you make big noise yeah that's yeah. right and the walls will fall down yeah so he says, hey, Make noise. walk around seven times. The first six days, walk around one time in silence. The seventh day, walk around seven times. The first six, quiet. Yeah. But the seventh time you walk around on be, the seventh be crazy day, loud. he's like, yell, the trumpets are going to sound and to shout. And so what do you think the horn sounded like? Loud. And the walls will fall down. Yeah. Now, could you imagine walking around something in, in complete silence for like... No. Uh, no, I couldn't imagine. No. I like to talk. No. Do you guys like yeah. to talk? Yes. 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 I, I talk all the time. I believe it. And so mm -hmm. then, on the seventh time, though, they obey what God said, and it happens. Like, the walls fall down. Have you guys ever seen, like, a building collapse before? No. 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 The Twin Towers, not. though. The yeah. Twin Towers. On video. If anybody's yeah, ever only, seen a video of it. I think we've only seen maybe video on footage, video. but could you imagine yeah. seeing something collapse no. in no. real life? No. That would be, no. That'd be crazy. Not. Yeah. I would and be I, And I don't shocked. think I want to. Yeah. It, that yeah, would actually I, be really scary. Yeah. yeah I would so think did, about the people, though. That. Think about the Israelites. They were probably, like, oh, my. And they were, like, right in front of the wall. Right. How did it so, not crash on them? I would be terrified. Maybe, they, maybe they're just far enough away. I don't know. Well, yeah. Okay, so this whole story. So they, Joshua leads the people to the promised land. So it makes me think: What does this story teach us? Like, what? How? Because what does it teach us about God or uh, how we should follow Him? What does it teach us? Uh, he always follows through with His promise and keeps His promises. Yeah, that's good. What else does it teach us? It teaches us that you can stand firm on his word. And, like, if you have a big project, he can help you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he will provide, too, right? He provided a way, and he, he, does, he follows through with what he says. So, to wrap up, we need a challenge for our listeners. So, do you guys have a challenge? Tell this, tell this story to one of your friends that may not know about Jesus Christ. Try to read the Bible every day yeah, and be confident in it. Yeah, that's great. And then my challenge for you is to read and even try to memorize Joshua 1, 
six through nine to be strong and courageous. And so that comes to the end of our podcast. We hope you enjoy. And we say bye. bye. See you later. Peace. Peace. Ciao. Ciao. If you would like more resources regarding the One Story Plan, go to visitgracechurch.com backslash one story. And if you'd like more resources for your kids, you can go to visitgracechurch.com backslash kids. We also have a YouTube channel, and you can find it by searching Visit Grace Kids on YouTube. If you like this podcast, we would love for you to like, subscribe, share, and leave us a comment. We'll see you soon.